What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up the Nintendo Wii U emulator CMU on a PC or laptop running Windows 11. If you're looking to enjoy Nintendo Wii U games on your computer, you're in the right place. We've also made videos on how to play Nintendo Switch games on Android, so be sure to check those out too. This video will be an A to Z tutorial on the CMU emulator, covering installation, setup, configuration, the best settings, controls, and game installation. We'll even dive into editing graphic packs. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay updated. Let's start with downloading the CMU emulator. To do so, open a browser on your computer and type cmu.info in the URL bar. I'll include the link in the description. We are on the CMU official website. You can see CMU 2.0 has been released. Before downloading the CMU emulator, let's look at the system requirements. Operating system, Windows 7 or newer renderer, OpenGL 4.5 or Vulkan 1.1. You need RAM, at least four gigabytes, though eight gigabytes or more is recommended. Microsoft Visual C++ for GPU compatibility. If you think your PC hasn't been updated yet, just click on the button to download Microsoft Visual C++ for graphics card compatibility. NVIDIA and AMD GPUs are good options, while Intel has limited support, so Vulkan is recommended. CMU supports GamePad. Don't worry if you don't have any, you can use keyboard. To download CMU, click on Download Latest Version. If you want the most recent version, click on GitHub. Clicking this will take you to CMU's GitHub page. As I mentioned before, CMU 2.2 is the latest version. Go to the Assets section, where you will find CMU for Mac OS, Ubuntu, and Windows. My machine has Windows as the operating system, so I am going to click on Windows. The file is only 25 megabytes. Once the download finishes, open the file. We need to extract the file because it comes in a zip format. If you don't have an extractor on your PC, you can download 7-Zip, a reliable and free zip extractor. Check the description for the link. Once it's done extracting, you'll get a folder containing all your extracted files, and you can delete the zip file. Open the folder and launch the CMU emulator. When you open CMU for the first time, we need to set up and configure settings. Here it asks for a game path from where it will take games and show them in the game library. For easy access, create a folder on your HDD or SSD for Nintendo Wii U games. After this, click on Download Community Graphic Packs. In a few seconds, you'll see a screen. Just click on Install Latest Community Graphics Packs and then click Next. Next. Let's configure the input. Here, you'll see controller 1, 2, and 3, which are different profiles for different inputs. Then make a profile. Select emulated controller from the list. Under the controller API option, select your external controller or use your keyboard if you don't have one. Customize the keys as you like. Here, you have to put the keys manually. You can try my keys layout. And don't forget to click the save button. Also, enable start games in full screen and automatically check for updates. Now click on the close button. Our primary CMU setup is complete. You may notice that the game list is empty. If you use WUA, you don't need any keys. But if you use WUX, you must install keys. To install keys, go to the file option. Then open the CMU folder and paste the Wii U keys there. So guys, you can see my games are now displayed in the game library. One more important piece of information. Before trying any games, please check the game compatibility list on the CMU website. Before trying any game, let's configure the CMU settings for the best performance. Moving to the general settings. In graphics, switch the API to Vulkan for smoother gameplay. If needed, you can change it to OpenGL. For VSync, keep it off, but enable it if you notice screen tearing. Set upscale filter and downscale filter to bilinear, and for full screen scaling, select keep aspect ratio. Under Audio, set the API to Zaudio 2 and adjust Latency if you experience issues. For Overlay, you can enable FPS or CPU usage display and adjust their positions on the screen. Generally, the emulator will display games in the library, or you can manually add a game. To edit a game's graphic pack, right-click on the game, choose Edit Graphic Packs, and turn on any options you need, like 60 FPS or higher resolution. If you want a higher resolution, go to Graphics and select your preferred resolution, such as 1440p. To start playing, just click on a game. 
your game will load in full screen and you're ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like, subscribe, join our Discord server, and I'll see you in the next one.